Um, so I'm Molly Brost, um, and I teach in the English department. The class that I developed was English 301, which is advanced composition. And the way that I organize it, um, my theme for the course is cultural myths and critical thinking. So they have this textbook, Rereading America, that focuses on different cultural myths. Um, and so how the course works is the early units, they have specific assignments focused on specific myths. And then for the later assignments, um, the literature review and the position paper, they choose their own cultural myth um, that they do more extensive research and focus on for the rest of the semester. Um, and so like this semester, for example, in my in-person class, some students are focusing on things like the myth that the full moon changes human behavior or the myth that men are smarter than women or, you know, different things like that that they then investigate in a little bit more depth than they do final presentations in the in-person version. So the way that I organized my class was by unit. And one of the reasons why I did it this way, um, and Laura helped me decide on that, was I developed this both, this is the official version and this is an eight week version, but I developed it as both an eight week version and a 16 week version. Um, and so it made it a little bit easier to try to do it by unit as opposed to week by week. So that's why I did it that way. So I thought what I would do is just show you one of my units and how it's set up because they're all set up pretty similarly. So you can just sort of get the gist of what I did. So this first one is um, the introduction to the course and the myth of the model family is the particular myth they look at in that unit. So how I do it, I first lay out the unit objectives and how they will help them fit the course objectives. Um, I then laid it out in a week-by-week -week structure, giving them instructions on what they should do when. Um, that, that structure also includes the assignment sheet. Um, and then for each unit, I included discussion boards um, in which typically it would focus on sometimes a short video and also um, the um, readings for that particular unit. And then they, during the, the first week is more discussion and sort of preparation um, for the paper that they're going to write. And then in the second week, they do the peer review um, and eventually submit their essay. Okay, so that's the way that I set it up and I did it very similarly for each individual unit. So all kind of set up that way. Um, so some specific things on my perspective change regarding online learning. Um, one thing I was really concerned about, because I actually tried teaching this course before as an online class, and I felt like it was a really different experience and that students weren't getting everything they would out of the in-person version. Um, but I got some really good tips um, as far as how to incorporate some of the things that I typically would in the in-person in version, like, for example, showing, showing short videos, and also, you know, I didn't use a lot of videos of myself in this because it's more of a skills course than a lecture course, but I did do this uh, introductory video that helped me feel a little bit more comfortable with that and made it a little um, So that did change my perspective on online learning. And then also one thing I was really um, impressed with that uh, Laura really helped me with a lot um, was just the organization of it. Because when I taught it before, I tried to organize it the way I would a Blackboard site for my um, in-person classes, where I maybe just have folders for assignments or informal um, materials, and then I would write this lengthy thing explaining, go here to find this, go here to find this. And she helped me see, like, no, organize it according to units, have it in the order that you want them to do it. Um, so it makes a lot more sense. Like after laying it out this way, I'm like, oh my gosh, how did they ever find anything before? <laughs> so it was really, really helpful in that way. So um, those I would say would definitely be the highlights and the definite things that I learned um, from the class.